Hi everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we're going to be up against a rank 23 smart all right, versus uh, me, of course, and it's going to be a naval battle, rank 21 versus rank 23. Let's see who will be victorious. And of course, before we start, go on ahead, subscribe and turn on the notification as well as smash the like button. All right, without further ado, let's go jump straight into it. New objective. Okay, and now I will be on the right side of the map. Okay, and of course construction yard near the shore for me to build that shipyard And of course gathering the containers two deltas at a time two shipyard in a naval platform is gonna be built Of course he has a higher rank than me and he obviously collected a lot more containers than I have Okay, going level 2 shipyard right there Viking is already being produced scout with the Delta right there and see what I can do Mm-hmm he has HQ level 3, going level 2 shipyard, and I will have to rendezvous with the rest of my delta. And I have 3 deltas right here, and I'm going to try my best and delay his uh, development and make him spend unnecessary resources to try and stop my delta attack. Okay, and now the first sniper tower is going to be down. That's like 170 resources plus the 2 riflemen that I just destroyed or annihilated. Additional riflemen are going to be produced, of course, to stop this uh, attack of my deltas right here. Okay, again, I'm not focused on the attack. I'm using a resource boost. Okay, now this is, of course, to, you know, like keep up with his productions as he is rank 23. As we are, uh, as we all know, rank 22 plus, you get max out economy with the supply centers. Okay, again, I'm going to have to try and take down that sniper tower and that gives me an edge in terms of the resource income and resources spent. Now, an avia factory is being built. He has two shipyard there and an alligator just popped out. Okay, two shipyard level two for those alligators. Meanwhile, on my end, I have Poseidon's four Vikings, three naval platforms around here on my base. Now, let's see how this goes. And I have like six supply centers. And he has pretty much the same thing, six supply centers as well, although there's uh, five revealed, but I'm sure he has more. Okay, and I'm going to have to position my Vikings there in a very good formation, so to of course expect his attack. But of course, as we all know, rank 23 naval platforms are does have more range than that of my rank 21 platforms. Oh, and so I didn't know that those platforms can reach my Vikings around there. So that's my bad right there, okay? But he took out one of my Viking and I took out one of his alligators. So I think it's a fair trade. Here goes, I'm going to use my Poseidons in order to attack his po naval platforms. But of course, naval platforms rank 23 are able to, uh, of course, uh, get in range of my Poseidon with a gold attack or gold common defense boost. Now that's below the 10 minute mark. Okay, so I'm going to have to try and wait until the 10 minute mark or after the 10 minute mark and I'm going to have to try my luck again. Here goes, he's trying to maneuver his uh, alligators, destroyed one of my vikings. Oh, he has a lot of alligators there with a dragonfly for scouting and five alligators right there. I'm going to have to try and have my vikings go on the other side of the map right there. But he's using an able strike boost, meaning his uh, platforms cannot reach my Vikings where it can, where normally it should. He's using a different boost, and now he shifted from another boost yet again, so that his platforms will fire. Oh ho! And let's see, he's trying to somehow maneuver outside the range of my platforms. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that he did not expect a platform on top right there. Very good engagement and I'm going to try and maneuver my Vikings to stop his alligators going at the top and at the back of my base. Poseidons here. So slowly but surely those Poseidons are going to climb their way up. Let's see how what will happen here. Again, alligators. He has tons of alligators going above. Okay, and it's already the 10 minute mark or above the 10 minute mark and I'm gonna have to try and siege those platforms again with my Poseidons. Again, the other shipyard that I have are still not stop production of Vikings only. Okay, I need at least 4 to 5 Poseidons here and then both of my shipyards will now be producing uh, Vikings. 
Okay, and let's see. Ooh, of course, I'm gonna have to retreat. He has a ton of gators around there, and I have only four Vikings here. And of course, his gators are more buffed up than my Vikings due to rank advantage. And I'm gonna have to retreat. I'm going to be clever here and to use my shipyard or my Poseidons here to act as a meat bag for those alligators to get in range, which they will. And my platforms or one my naval platform will destroy those alligators with the support of my Poseidon acting as a meat bag as well as providing additional damage. Okay, and there goes. The Poseidons are so tanky that those alligators died uh, versus my naval platform and one Poseidon will live to see another day. Oh my gosh, okay, so yeah. Oh man, Confederation in a nutshell, so tanky and so powerful as well that one naval platform took out all of those gators. And here goes. Uh huh, there's like one dragonfly around there. I wonder how many dragonflies are there. Okay, Ooh, one of the alligators are going at the bottom and are trying to, I think he's going to attack at the bottom as well since he can't cross that path in the middle. And that dragonfly will surely fall. I have like five Vikings right here and two Poseidons and he has one alligator chasing me. So it's all gonna be a part of, it's all going to depend on engagement and also, you know, like good formations. Let's see how this goes. Ooh, those two Vi alligators did not fire. However, two of my Vikings did fire at one alligator even though they are outnumbered. And let's see, the rest of my Vikings are catching up and are now going to shred those alligators apart. Meanwhile, one of my Poseidon are still trying to be annoying. And, oh man. <laughs> okay, I won that exchange, of course, obviously with the number advantage. And one alligator is like, lost its way without micro and are trying to destroy my, uh, my uh, defenses right there. Although that's not going to be enough because one Poseidon here is trying to be annoying and are luring those alligators onto my base. Oh my god, look at that uh, naval platform range. So Imba, rank 23 naval platforms. And yeah, let's see, now I'm gonna have to try and engage. I have good formation here, although one of my Viking will fall. It has low health. And yeah, basically I'm gonna have to move away outside the range of that naval platform of his and let the Poseidon deal the damage. Meanwhile, reinforcement are going to try and travel above the map or on top of the map and go over to my army right there and the alligator count is building up on the top side on his north side of the base and here goes i'm gonna have to try and uh, you know conduct a good formation here on my vikings let's see okay and still man that's not gonna be enough okay he's trying to gather the alligators at the bottom and also trying to defend the top with a meansly uh, alligator count from one na uh, na uh, from one shipyard right there and again I got like wow two more uh, Poseidon and two more Vikings and are now going to try and get a good concave oh and I'm gonna have to try and double tap my way in let's see Ooh, that one alligator <laughs> is going to retreat versus a rank 21 Viking and are now getting in range of the other Vikings that I have Okay, again, I win that trade. It's all about the formation, getting the initiative right there. I'm not going to get him a good position because he has a more powerful naval army than what I have. Okay, and let's see what will happen here. Still trying to get in for, into formation. Now, those alligator count at the bottom are like, man, are like <laughs> going in critical mass. Let's see. Okay, so he has a lot of alligators here now, and ooh, one of the alligators lost its way. I'm going to try and switch boost for a moment here. Ooh, ooh man, you're not gonna destroy that those Vikings, man, rank 21 Vikings. Okay, switch boost for a moment in order to defend my base versus those alligators at the bottom, and I have like two newly produced Vikings in addition to the two Vikings that I have positioned at the bottom and switched again to naval strike boost to of course boost the range of my units here all of these alligators has been annihilated and are now shredding those naval platforms with the Poseidon and now I'm gonna have to try and attack even though my vikings are outclassed versus those rank 23 alligators it's all about the numbers game and here goes <laughs> at this point 
those alligators are like trying to desperately destroy my Poseidons which are going which are trying to destroy his naval platforms oh man this is tough for him very very tough and ooh, the Poseidon <laughs> made a very good revenge right there with those uh, with that bruised up alligator and again that one alligator will surely fall and now my Poseidons are now uncontested destroying those torpedo platforms of his and there's like that one dragonfly that will surely fall and again one alligator is not going to make it okay it's not gonna be enough to stop my advance and of course here goes those naval platforms yet again and I don't really care at this point because I already took care of a lot of his naval prowess and I'm now going to charge in he has like two naval platforms around here which obviously will not be enough against what I have and on to his base right now using the Vikings and the Poseidons that I have left here on my end and I'm gonna have to scrap his base using my naval army and again that's gonna be I think it's gonna be the beginning of the end for him he's still uh, here in the game at this point but I don't think that he, if he is or not will not make any difference the outcome is clear speed versus power yeah rank 21 versus rank 23 navy mm, alligator imba yeah all right well if you guys like the video go on and smash like button and of course turn on the notification to all notification so that you won't miss an uploader stream from my channel as well as check my previous videos as they contain tips and tricks that can actually help you win a battle likewise thanks for watching have a great day and good luck with your battles guys bye now Victory.